finally back home, just in time for the beginning of the harvest season. It's incredible how much my valley changes from spring to summer. Luscious greens and abundant meadows dry out into crisp prairies of bitterroot and sage. During my trip, I made the decision to disconnect from technology as much as possible. I thought I'd share some ways that I use technology and social media to benefit me, instead of weighing down my mind or demotivating me, which happens, I find, if I use it too much. Since I recently made a video on this topic, I thought I'd expand into more practical ways I enrich my reality, so that the world in my phone seems far less important in regards to who I am and how I spend my time. One very simple way I disconnect is by finding ways to incorporate more movement in my days. Walking somewhere, stretching, using my phone for example often leaves me very stationary and affects my posture and neck if I'm hunched over too much. By looking at my phone less, I notice so many more things, specifically the sky. If you have the chance right now, I would encourage you to take a quick moment and run outside and look up. The enormity of the sky is always wondrous and makes you feel small in the best way. There is so much out there, more than we will ever discover, and it really puts things into perspective. If an image or comment or anything at all is bothering me, it suddenly seems so inconsequential, and I really feel silly for wasting precious time over it. The same is true for the insecurities that often arise from comparison. It offers so little benefit. And if anything, it distracts you from the beauty of your own existence. There is so much to experience in this world and within your spirit. I wouldn't waste one more minute over something so small. Another way I disconnect is by still actually using technology, but just using it differently. I find music and certain sounds incredibly calming and centering. I also love listening to stories and watching movies that inspire me and looking at art. In these ways, I disconnect from the noise and notifications and messages and yet still can cultivate richness in my life through exposure to so much art and ideas. Since being online more, I've noticed people often recommend silent meditation as a means to feel more centered when the world seems hectic. I respect anyone who can meditate for a long time and I'm happy to know how much it benefits some people, but I've never been able to do it. I live in a very quiet environment for the most part, so meditation actually feels a little weird when in a rural area everything is already so still. My way of meditating and being in touch with myself is through movement. My hands need to move and create and cook. My mind needs to have something to focus on, like written words or music or ideas. It is when I'm my most creative that I'm also most at peace. I find that through this, I strengthen my spirituality. I encourage you to find your best way to meditate, as I don't think any specific form works for everyone. Meditation isn't limited to sitting in a room. If anything, I find that, especially if you're not very active, meditation through movement, be it walking or hiking or even dance, can have as much benefit depending on who you are. Whatever makes you feel most at ease and creative. Another way I disconnect is by not fearing boredom. This feeling has an incredible ability to inspire you with new ideas and interests and hobbies.
Lastly, I always try to reserve my evenings as a time free of unwanted distractions. I may watch a movie, listen to a book or music while I do some tidying around my home. It is a very special time for me and I particularly enjoy lighting candles. I recently discovered this adorable small business inspired by mythology and fantasy and I wanted to briefly mention how much I enjoy their candles. I'll leave their website down below. They're perfect for lovers of storytelling, books, fairies, and imagination. This is, of course, not sponsored. I just really love these candles and wanted to share them with you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, and I will see you next week. Sending my love.